said, you know, when tough times come, we, we have to stop looking to the world. Looking to the world. Because right here, in the word of God, is your healing, your blessing, your deliverance. So like I said, no matter what it is that you have lost, whatever has been withheld, whatever that has been stolen and delayed, whatever that is, my friend, I have come to share with you that today, this morning is your restoration morning. You know, before I go into the world, let me share that, that, that this Shunammite woman had a son. She, she was praying for the, for the son and God blessed her with the son. And the Bible says, to cut the long story short, he went with his father father in the fields, he said, my head, my head, he fell, he died, and the father brought him home. There was a situation there, my friend, that needed real attention. Did you know what she did? She went to the prophet. Hallelujah. And while she was afar off, the prophet said to the servant, just go check with her if everything is well. She is well. If her husband is well. If her child is well. Look at her answer. See, you got to read the word of God. Because here is your restoration. Here is your deliverance. Here is your answer. She didn't say what she saw. But she said what she wanted. She was not ready for a funeral service. She was ready for a resurrection service. I don't know what you're seeing. I don't know what you're saying. I encourage you, no matter what tough times you're going through, speak the word only and God will only. resurrect your situation. That baby was dead but she went to the prophet the prophet came and that child, the dead child came back to life. I don't know how bad your situation looks like but know this God is greater than that situation. Know this that the Lord reigns supreme. The Lord reigns over all. So whether, it's, whether it's to do with your health with your wealth with your inheritance, with your, with your dignity, your honor, with joy, with peace, spiritual life, whichever area it is that is going through a dry spell, whichever area that is, know this, our God is a God of supernatural restoration. Somebody say, my day for restoration. Say it like you mean it, my day for restoration. Jeremiah 30, 17. The Bible says, Bible For God says, For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of all thy wounds, said the Lord. Hey, God already said in his word that healing is your, divine health is your portion. And, and yet when you go through challenges in your physical body, instead of looking to God and his word, you go and look Look out there in the world. You talk about what you know what what the what Google is saying instead of what Bible is saying. Bible Google I want us to focus our attention on the word of God. Take God at his word because the Bible says heaven and earth will pass away but not his word. There are so many scriptures in the Bible. So this morning I'm saying if you're facing a physical challenge, if you're going through stuff in your life, and the doctors have said you have to live with this, the doctors have said there's no medication for this, the doctors have said we've tried all that we can, but it doesn't look any better. Come on, rejoice and give thanks to God. You have God and His Word. You have Jehovah Rapha. Come on, if you will just hold on to Him. Take God at His Word. Stand on the Word of God. Decree that Word. Declare that Word. In the midst of that pain, in the midst of those symptoms, that Word will manifest in your life. That Word will manifest in your body. Like I said, the doctor might have said it's all over. Hey, rejoice and give thanks to God. When the doctors can 
and do nothing, know that your God is never too late. There is no given up case for your God. He is Jehovah Rapha. He said, I am the Lord that healeth thee. It's about time we focus our attention on the word of God. Consciously, forcefully, let your mind, let your spirit dwell on the word of God. Because the Bible says the enemy is a deceiver. He comes to steal, kill and destroy. He will not want you to look at the word of God. But the first thing, when you just speak that word out of your mouth, and this is what I say, the enemy fears only the word. He doesn't fear your good looks, your muscles. He only fears the word. So you better be worded up day in and day out. Day out 24-7. It's, it's the word, my friend. It's the word that brings light, enlightenment, and revelation. You got to open your hearts and let the word of God penetrate into your spirit. The entrance, the Bible says, the entrance of his word brings light, enlightenment, and revelation. Your healing, blessing, deliverance. It's all here in the word of God. Please don't get me wrong. I'm not saying don't take medication. I'm not saying if you are in sickness, you are in sin. No, no, no. If that is the purpose of the enemy. But God said, beloved, I wish above all that you may prosper and be in health even as I soul prosper. Come on, I dare you to take God at his word. Because the Bible says, let God be true and every man a liar. God said it, I believe it and it's a done deal. When was the last time you said that? In the midst of that negative report, in the midst of that pain, in the midst of those symptoms increasing, when did you put your foot down and say, I know whom I believe and I'm persuaded that my God, my God, he's the one that's going to heal me, bless me and deliver me. Because of what's going on in the world. Many times we are influenced by that talk. But I, I, my sincere prayer this morning is let us be influenced by the word of God. Let our thinking pattern be ruled by the word of God. I will not take no for an answer. Come on, God wants the best for my life. When you come with that sort of an attitude, when you come with faith in God, faith in the word of God, because the Bible says it is impossible to please God without faith. So one of the things you got to do for your restoration is just build your faith by hearing the word of God on a continual basis. Oh, Pastor, I am so busy. Stay with your sickness. Come on. You got to just, like I said, put a demand on the anointing, demand on the blessing of healing. You got to become really violent. That's why the Bible says, they that know their God, they shall be strong. They that know the word of God, they that know God, they shall be strong and they shall do mighty exploits. Come on, make some time. Make some time to study that word. Physical body. <laughs> no, 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 no. God's God's desire for your, for your life is that you live in divine health. Pick up the scriptures that pertain to it. Come on, don't dwell on the name of that disease that the doctor has diagnosed you with. Oh my, oh my God, it's it's arthritis or it's it's something to do with your kidneys. It's 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 COVID. So what? God has already taken that on His back. Oh, they were the killer no pulu leka puta the mutha puta samanin chindi leka puta the COVID. Aye dai the on the cross of Calvary. Come on, you were healed by his stripes. So no matter what diseases 
the enemy is busy inventing vaidyulu kotta anarogyalu kanukodamlo raddiga untundaga however bad they are avi enta cheduga unna rejoice and give thanks to god santoshinchi krutagnata chelinchi all that he has already taken on his back ayana vip me dagiri shall not come na you me dagiri raadu ye shall be fall you neither shall any play come na your dwelling place ye apayamu ni edoku raadu ye yokka tegulu ni gudaramu samipinchadu you got to be a man and woman that is really worded up that is full of the word of god and the word is controlling everything in your life devuni vakyam cheta nimpabadina vetuluga meeru undali vakyame mee jeevithanni sampurna swadhinam andu unchukonagalagali